We would like to provide a short update to the Class 385 introduction and the fishbowl windscreen issue. Hitachi has confirmed that new windscreens are to be fitted to ScotRail's new Class 385s. These new trains are already late entering service due to infrastructure problems. The Japanese manufacturer Hitachi is building 70 electric multiple units for ScotRail. These were due to enter live service last year, but infrastructure delays prevented their mainline testing. Once testing began, the drivers' union, ASLEF, said modifications were needed to the windscreens and that unless and until these were made, the drivers would not drive the units. On April the 4th, 2018, a Hitachi spokesman stated that we are currently working with manufacturers and partners on viable solutions. Once the solution is agreed, windscreens will undergo rigorous testing, working with ScotRail, regulators and unions before the trains enter service. No date for this has been provided by either manufacturer or operator. ScotRail spokesman Angus Duncan said recent reports of delays of between 12 and 18 months for the trains were false, further stating that the 385s will be in service as soon as Hitachi has resolved the problems and testing is completed successfully. Speaking in February, when the windscreen problems were discovered, Kevin Lindsay, Aslev's organiser in Scotland, said, The windscreen is curved and, at night, is making drivers see two signals. It's like looking through a fishbowl all the time. We look forward to the introduction of the Class 385s and we'll keep watching for more announcements. Thank you for watching. We hope this has been of interest. Please like, share and subscribe for more.